going to move this seat to the side. Sorry. And uh, usually it's done in a way that you look at that machine over there mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, read the words. I don't know if your oh. eyes are that good. They're horrible. <laughs> All right. So you'll forgive me. Go. Just in case, <laughs> I'm sure Patricia is doing quite very fine. Yeah, so amongst yourselves, you're going to choose who goes first and who, you know, reads up to where there's a full stop mm. and the other picks on from there. And let's see how you do. I mean, uh, you might be Shall replacing me at my job. <laughs> who knows? So <laughs> let's go on. You introduce yourselves, by the way. Okay. And uh, present the news. All right. You want to go first? Okay. So... <laughs> My name is Patricia Kihoro and you're watching KTN Friday Briefing. Now, female genital mutilation is carried out by communities as a heritage of the past. According to the Kenyan Demographic and Health Survey, Kenya's national female genital mutilation rate stands at 27%. The rates are highest among the Somali, Kisi and the Maasai. However, this culture has not been static. Many are realizing that it is possible to give up the practice without giving up their culture. In Kajado County, more than 100 young girls went through it through an alternative, ah, through an alternative rite of passage and are debunking the myth that uncut girls are immoral and imitators of Western culture. Kutahiri wasichana ni lazima Kwa ajili Hakuna wasi kupata Kijana na chukua msichana Jatahiriwa Female genital mutilation remains A contentious subject in Kajado County and the larger Maasai Community But for this 12 year old girl you will call Sanaipe, the public debate on the Practice is a personal struggle Kutahiriwa ni mbaya na kwa Maasai Kutahiriwa na peana Na mistake kupeana na miyota kuendelea na masumi Sanaipe was rescued by her uncle and aunt who took her back to school. Labda unaweza kuta kama kuna msichana hajakeketwa ni mmoja. Na labda ukute huyu msichana ni wa either wa mwalimu ama wa pastor. Fikia hapa leo tumeweza ku rescue watoto 62 62 the girls here know that one day they'll eventually become women and take up those responsibilities. But for the moment, all they want is that rite of passage that allows them to retain their childhood, go to school, enjoy life, and be just girls. Alternative rite of passage ni mbinu mbadala ya hiyo. Tukasema wa watoto wa wanakutana mali moja zinzi tumefanya leo wanaelimishwa kwa siku mbili na siku ya tatu wanafanya graduation. Graduation hiyo ni kutoka kwa hii stage bila kukeketwa na kwenda katika hiyo stage ya womanhood bila kupitia kisu. KDH's data in the last census shows that 73% of Maasai girls undergo the cut, a slight reduction from 93.4% FGM prevalence in 2003. World Vision estimates that the prevalence rate in Kajado County has gone down from 84% since the ARP passage programs were introduced. To who does it belong to? To who does it belong to? Moya Hailewi, na wala ajua wanafunzwa nini. Ashwa gadwe ndio, ashwa gadwe ndio mesoma. Eh, na nasema hiyo kupasha tohara aizui chochote mtoto ataendelea tu kusoma. So wanachukua kama mtu wa mesoma na nakuja na vitu mambo kama haya ni kama analeta tamaduni ya watu wengine kuleta kuingiza katika tamaduni ya masai. Sanaipe sits among those girls in Metro Primary School, Namanga. After three days, she and the other 133 girls are ready to graduate. They know more about the effects of FGM, early marriage, and are armed with life skills. The program also reaches out to their parents. But what guarantee do these girls have that they won't be forced to go through the cut or early marriages? Serikali imeza kuweka mikakati ya nyumba kumikumi. 
kila kama chief anajua kila mtu katika kijiji na anajua ni nani atapitia tohara ama mtoto mgani atapitia tohara sana ipe faces the world with greater determination her grandmother says that she would not stop her from going to school she just wants her to own her culture a stand the young girl hopes will change dorka swangira ktn and of course the ladies here just ushered us into that story uh, by Dokas. How do you think you did, Fana? I'm Let's coming for your to job. <laughs> to be honest, it was like a solid six. Like a solid six. Maybe huh? seven and a half. Okay. Mm. <laughs> and Patricia, how do you think you did on a scale of one to ten? You know that's your job. <laughs> yeah. So you can it even... Used to be. Uh, <laughs> but this is different. This is a kind of different reading of the news. Yeah. You know? and, and the fact there's millions actually watching that and here you're alone no you know i was constantly not thinking about the numbers i'm nervous all <laughs> over again that you know there's a rally somewhere mm -hmm. in the studio <laughs> you're speaking to these people and delivering the news but anyway um there's a lot going on for you uh, you're young you're very youthful very energetic mm -hmm. and uh, the future seems bright for the both of you um what are you working on now you two have done a song together yes. uh, what is it called fun. Uh, the song is called That Sound. That and Sound. It's on my debut album. It's called Phenomenon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was a fun song to do together. This is basically a club song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And uh, what does the future look like? What are you working on going forward? Well, for now, we're really pushing the album. Um, it's online, it's on iTunes, it's on wabe.com. You can Facebook as Fena Music and we'll figure out how to deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of shows lined up. Um, November 8th for one is Enashipai. Uh, and a couple other things. All right. Yeah. Patricia, what, what are you up to going forward? Um, there's uh, a lot more acting gigs that are coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got the second season of a TV show, a musical that I worked on. A couple of films as well. And of course my radio job, I'm writing. There's a show that I directed and produced and put it on stage called oh. Life in the Single Lane. It's That's fantastic. <laughs> Yes, yeah. that people really liked. So there's that. There's an improv show I worked on called Because You Said So mm -hmm. with Jason Bruno and a few others. So there's a lot of stage work, a lot of performances coming up. And definitely, of course, I'm also working on my album. Right. Mm. So just busy, busy, busy. Can times I audition well. to be in one of your Well, I, I'm, I'm so honored to have both of you <laughs> in studio. And I'm going to keep you around, actually, until the end of the show. And just so you know, business will be coming up shortly. And also, Willis, the word master, is still around and he's going to be joining us shortly or right after business news.